All right, hello, hello, hello to all of the Scorpios out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your future love reading. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. If you feel like you need a personal reading, the links will be posted in the description box below the video. Remember, this is future love, but a future love could be a past love coming back in. So apply the energy as it fits to your story. All right, so first card to come out is the King of Swords. All right, so Scorpios, I feel like some of you are... You have mental clarity now. You could be um, showing that you are in control of things. You're in control of things. You're disciplined at this time. You have clarity at this time. So your energy is clear. Okay? Your energy is clear. Let me know in the comment section if your energy is clear. Also, don't forget to press the thumbs up image. To help the video circulate and to let me know you support the channel. Yeah, I feel like things are clear for you. You've been doing a lot of self-work, shadow work, working on yourself. And um, I do feel like you are still working on yourself. And because of that, some of you have new love coming in. Let's see, who's this? Yeah, look at this, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, some of you could meet a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Someone that's going to want to put an effort for a successful union. You may meet this person at some type of school, your workplace. This could be someone that you work with. They could be definitely financially stable. Um, someone that you meet in a group of people, in a group setting. Look at this, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, a divine connection, a divine harmony, something that's fulfilling, a wish fulfillment is coming your way. It's say dreams do come true. Someone you can build a family with, you can build with financially. Someone that's going to balance you out, that's not going to uh, walk away or betray you. Okay? Someone that's going to equally give to the union. There's going to be reciprocity here. Which, that's beautiful. It's hard to come by someone that's that's on the same page as you. Okay? <clears throat> now, this person may be getting out of a relationship or they're at the tail end of a relationship. Okay? So, there definitely could be distance between you and this person at this time. But I feel like I see you two working hard to come together. Okay, so if you and your person are not together at this time, I feel like the blockage here is possibly a uh, distance. Yeah, someone here may have to move towards the other person with the chariot card coming out. Someone here is going to have to move towards or move in with the other person in order for this new beginning in love to come to fruition. Could be a Capricorn involved. I did see... Are there any other blockages besides distance? Are there any other blockages? Yeah, I feel like um, Sagittarius energy is here. I feel like this person is at the toe end of another relationship. That's what I'm getting. Like there's someone else here, but this person is walking away from this union. Like, they're in the process of walking away from that. Yeah, because it's toxic. I'm getting toxic energies, Capricorn energy. This, someone here could be a player. Their person could have cheated on them in some, some kind of way. So, now they're walking away because this person had secrets. They were trying to keep them in the dark about some things. What's the outcome? What is the outcome for Scorpio and this person? The Two of Cups. This is your person. Someone you see eye to eye with, you're going to have a good time with this person. There's give and take, reciprocity, stability. Someone you can build with. You two are nurturing this union together. 
Yep. And I feel like this is going to end up with you and this person being in a higher level of commitment. It's like this person knows that you're their person. So I see them like stepping up to the plate, taking the lead. And I see you and this person moving forward. Six of swords at the bottom of the deck. What else is here? What else is here for the sign of Scorpio? Let me know in the comment section if you just met someone and this person just makes you feel all giddy inside and you know that this is your person. Press the thumbs up image if it is. I don't know what that noise is, but someone's making a on noise. Banging or something. Let's see. Divine masculine. You could meet this person working out. This could be someone you met working out. Look at this. Divine masculine. Love. Adore, admire, enchantment, okay? This could be someone that was wearing a mask. They never told you how they felt, okay? But now the mask is coming off and they can't keep their hands off of you. They got a, having a, they're having a magnetic pull towards you. They find you irresistible, Okay? And again, you got intervention here. There was someone else here in the picture that was blocking this from moving forward. And now this person is on their um, chase. They're in pursuit of you. Okay, because they could be going through a divorce or they're just like going through some type of legal separation or something like that. Could also be, um, I'm hearing child support for some. They could have some type of legality going on or they are finishing up. They have to finish this up before they can come towards you. But even though there's distance here, you and this person are still connected. And I do feel like they're going to come clean. They're going to open up to you about what's going on in their life. And they're going to show you proof. They're going to, they got proof because this person is ready to explode with I'm looking at this fire, so I'm looking at this as a um in a passionate way. They're coming towards you. Could be within a few days, a few weeks, a few months, whatever it is, this person is coming towards you to build. They are wanting to build. It's like this person has made up their mind that they want to be with you. You got unconditional love at the bottom of the deck. So um yeah, that's what I have for you, Scorpios. Someone, someone is coming in and they look, they're going to love you. Love you and all of you. Okay, I'm hearing, um, what's that song? Flaws and All um, by Beyonce. Uh, let me see. So, uh, I'm hearing... I think it's, um, I reject you when I'm working. When I need attention, I tend to nag. Some of you may be um, nagging this person because you want their attention or they're nagging you because they want your attention or vice versa, however it goes. Some of you may be working out, but your person love your imperfections. They see past your imperfections. Rather, this is physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, whatever it is, this person sees past that. They want to work with you, not against you, which is good. And I'm hearing that they're coming clean. Like if this person hasn't expressed, doesn't express to you or hasn't expressed to you how they feel, they're wearing a mask and the mask is coming off. Okay, that's what I have for you, Scorpios. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Peace.